Flave City fam, what is up? It is Art and I coming at you from the grocery store. Actually, a pretty empty grocery store because it's Black Friday. Most people are like getting flat screen TVs, going to Target, going to Walmart. We're at the grocery store because I want to make a video about the most nutrient dense foods and not knock out on one of those railing over there. The most nutrient dense foods at the grocery store. I'm talking about foods that pack serious nutritive properties, whether that's uh, protein, whether that's fiber, whether that's complex carbs. I want to walk around the grocery store and tell you what to look for when you're buying products to make them the most nutrient dense. I think it's going to be really interesting and it's going to really drive home the fact that you have to read labels. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, before we go into the grocery store, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. All those things are lovely. There's also a bell icon below the video because we have so much content going live every week. You want to get a push on your device by enabling the bell below. Also, this video is sponsored by the longest sponsor of the channel Thrive Market. Everything you would get at this grocery store or any grocery store. All your favorite keto, paleo, gluten-free, non-GMO items are on Thrive Market for cheaper. Normally you save about $32 per order and the box comes to your door. But one of the coolest things about Thrive Market is their app. Every time I'm in a grocery store, I take out the app, they have a price scanner feature on there. You can scan a barcode of anything at the grocery store. It tells you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market, which it usually is, or if there's a better alternative, meaning maybe a healthier alternative. Also, all Flav City fans get the hookup. In the description box down below is my link. All first time members get a free gift up to $24. One of those free gifts right now is a box of grass fed chomps beef sticks, which is great. And here's the deal. It's 30 days risk free. If you don't love it, you can always get your membership uh, refunded, but I think you're going to love Thrive Market. They've been a huge sponsor of the channel. So check them out using my link down below. Okay, let's mask up. Let's go shopping and show you what to buy and what to avoid. What is the most nutrient dense bread at the grocery store? Something that's actually hard to identify, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So when you're looking at bread, ideally you want whole wheat bread. I never eat white bread because there's no nutrition and I don't eat any gluten anyways. So I'll get to the non uh, gluten breads too. But when you get something that's whole wheat, don't just stop there. So here's a loaf. And when you look at the front here, it's like, okay, natural ovens, it's got a good name. It's whole grain bread. Always make sure, make sure the ingredients here are whole grains. So I see whole grain wheat flour, which is great. But then I'm looking for nutrient dense, right? So I do see oats and buckwheat and amaranth. That's really nice. But I come down here. You're, oh, a lot of times you're going to see a little bit of sugar in here, but we're only talking one added gram per slice. But I see soybean oil here. And is it non-GMO bread? I don't see that. So it's GMO soybean oil, which is totally not needed here. And none of these ingredients are organic. So not bad, right? But we can do a lot better. I'm going to warn you, you probably heard me say this before, but when you're getting grains like wheat, always get organic. Non-organic grains like wheat score high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. And that's true with oats too and legumes. Why is that the case? Because Roundup is so pervasive in farming today, it affects a lot of other crops by just kind of bleeding over to those farms and those crops, including wheat. So we can do better than that. I'll just go straight to the best one here and it's sprouted bread. Sprouted bread comes in many forms. Here's Silver Hills. In the freezer aisle, there's Ezekiel. I'm going to tell you one that is the best for kids, too, because a lot of times sprouted bread's a little hearty and healthy, and the texture isn't kid approved. This one is. This is my favorite one. Silver Hills makes sprouted bread. This is little big bread. Look on the wall. There's a lot here. Don't get confused. There's a bunch of other ones here, but I want you to go with this one because if you could be my hand right now, we had Squeeze a Vision. It's soft and pillowy and it's kid approved. I actually made a uh, best in class grilled cheese sandwich with this and it's so good and the kids love it. But look at the ingredients here. So everything's organic and everything is sprouted. There is a touch of sugar here too, but if we look at how much, it's one gram per slice. It's very common in bread making. So why is sprouted bread the bee's knees? Because when you take a grain and you sprout it, you boost the nutritive properties, you boost the enzymes, and it's easier on your tummy to digest. So sprouted bread is where it's at. And like I said, the biggest complaint against it is that it's very healthy tasting. It has a healthy texture. Get this one. Uh, it, all your kids will love it. Make sandwiches for that. It's fantastic. Now, you'll see right above here, a lot of people love this Dave's Killer Bread. And it's so close to being perfect, but when we learn to read labels and looking for nutrient dense, Here's what I'm gonna show you. It's 21 whole grains and seeds, right? Look at the ingredients here. They're really nice. There's tons of grains, actually 21 grains and seeds. 
everything is organic too, but there is cane sugar here too, and I don't love the fact that they're using canola oil. Even though the canola oil, where is it, Art, do we see it? I'm looking for the uh, canola oil, and Art and I can't find it, so they actually got rid of that, which is nice. But look how high up here the sugar is, and we look at this. This is a little alarming to me. There's five grams of added sugar per slice, and that's cane sugar. So if you make a sandwich with two slices of bread, that's 10 grams of sugar, which is two and a half teaspoons. So even though it's organic and tons of nuts and seeds in there, too much sugar, which is why I would just put this back and I would get the sprouted bread. But the kind of bread we actually eat at home is around the corner here. Here, this is my favorite keto and paleo bread to eat at home. Two companies, Base Culture and Unbun. This is actually our favorite and Desi and Rose love this. This is keto paleo cinnamon raisin bread. So if I show you the ingredients here, I think this is really what makes it so nutrient dense. There's no grains in here. There's no legumes in here. It's just all amazing stuff like almond butter, golden flax. I mean, look at this, psyllium husk powder, coconut oil. And to have these kind of macros here for bread is fantastic. And this one is fantastic. It's a little expensive, but it's really good. And one that's on sale right here, if you want a keto paleo dinner roll, these guys unbun from Canada, make these buns that are fantastic. Look at this, almond flour based with pumpkin seed protein, coconut milk here. We're talking, I mean, look at this, five net carbs per roll. This is fantastic. Now, this is also gluten-free, and I think this is really the kind of bread you wanna eat, because all gluten, whether you're intolerant or not, is inflammatory, and I just don't think it's great for you. You're better off going the grain-free route of paleo bread if you want a gluten-free bread that's different than this, this is the best nutrient-dense one on the market. Do they have it? Let's see. I don't see the actual bread, but these guys. Canyon Bakehouse. Their multi-seed uh, gluten-free bread is the best because it's made with complex grains. And there is another newcomer right over here by Art to the Market. These guys are making a lot of cool stuff. It's farmers we know. This is organic sprouted flax and spelt bread. This is not gluten-free, but if you're gonna eat grains, look at this. I mean, sprouted whole spelt, water, raisin puree, flax seeds, really, really cool. And actually, to be honest, not that high in carbs either. Another fantastic one. So when you're looking at bread, nutrient-dense matters, sprouted is even better. And if you wanna avoid grains altogether, those two make fantastic nutrient-dense paleo and keto breads too. Arthur and I have entered the breakfast aisle, something that's very important because a lot of breakfast items could be sugar bombed or made with grains that are not whole grains. So I'm looking at the wall here of granola, something that's very popular. You have to be careful when it comes to granola. So case in point, I'll get something that looks like it's healthy here. So this is Nature's Path Organic Honey Almond. Oats have to be organic, otherwise they score high in glyphosate. So you're good to go, right? Organic, non-GMO, boom, I'm gonna buy it. Well. Let's take a look at the ingredients here. There's not that many, which is nice, but we have gluten-free organic whole oats. We have cane sugar. I don't care if it's uh, organic or not, cane sugar. We have organic sunflower oil that's not necessarily expeller pressed, and that's a uh, oil that's inflammatory. And then we have honey, honey flavor. But we look at this, there's six grams of added honey and cane sugar. So listen, I've seen a lot worse, especially if you shop at other grocery stores, but not something I would get because of the cane sugar and because of the natural flavors. What did I say about the bread a second ago? I would actually get granola that's paleo or grain-free, meaning you swap out the oats with just nuts and seeds. So come on the other side of this panettone here, which looks lovely. This row right here, this is one of my favorite brands for breakfast, Purely Elizabeth. It is an amazing company here. So this is actually grain-free granola, meaning you're not gonna see any oats here. They swapped it out with pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Instead of cane sugar, they use one of my favorite paleo sweetener, coconut sugar, which is amazing. They actually put MCT oil in there and a bunch of seeds and nuts. It's only four grams of added sugar per third of a cup. This is nutrient dense. This is non-inflammatory. This is what you wanna pour in your bowl with your grass-fed milk or your good quality uh, almond milk. This is fantastic and it's a little pricey here at the grocery store, $6.99.
But if you flip open the uh, Thrive Market app and turn on the price scanner, you can scan this barcode, which I just did earlier, and pretty much what I do at the grocery store all the time. It's on sale for like, I think it was 30 or 40% cheaper than right now. This is one of the best in class Bobby approved granolas. Use my promo link down below. Get some of this. Get your free gift for Flav City fans. This is fantastic stuff. So keep that in mind when you're looking for oats. Now there are a couple new products I've never seen before. If we come down yonder, that's what I love about coming to the grocery store four or five times a week. You just see new things. This is brand new. Look at this. Art, how would you pronounce this here? I say Kia. Kia. Like the car? Like the car. Okay, this is the car version of breakfast. Kia creamy coconut. This looks really interesting. Oh, it's made by Nature's Path, the same one who didn't, who makes the granola I didn't love. But this is interesting. Look at this. So, organic rolled oats, dried coconut, buckwheat groats, inulin, which is fiber, ch ch chia seeds. Oh, there's flavor in there. Oh, that's natural flavors. It would have been really nice because the macros are nutrient dense. Let me see if this one has it too. I could have swore I saw this the other day. Okay, get this one. This is the cinnamon pumpkin seed. No flavor. That's nutrient dense. Very, very, very cool stuff here. And then if we come up here, these guys are taking over. Look at this. One degree. They make a lot of interesting stuff. Look at this. They're one of the few products out here that actually say glyphosate free on oats. Look at these ingredients here. Sprouted gluten free oats, coconut sugar, cacao nibs. That's like roasted cocoa. That's just the nibs and real vanilla. It does have a touch more sugar than I love. Nine grams per third of a cup, but it's a paleo sweetener. So I'm okay with it. These are the only guys who make sprouted oats. And once again, if you sprout a grain like oats, you release more nutrients, more enzymes, and it's easier for your body to digest. This is super cool. And like I said earlier, you have to get organic oats, legumes, and wheat, in my opinion, because non-organic score high in glyphosate. They're the only ones that do glyphosate-free oats. Super, super important and super cool. So look for those things in the breakfast aisle. If you want to learn about cereal, watch my cereal video when this is done. That can be a total landmine when it comes to nutritive properties. If you're going to get the most nutrient dense yogurt, it has to be yogurt plain without sugar. The amount of sugars in some yogurt can be astounding. Case in point, I could pick up pretty much any flavored yogurt here. Let's get this one that's flavored with brown sugar and oatmeal here. So we look at this. The sugar is just going to be the first issue here. So added sugars, nine grams there. If we look at the actual ingredients here, we have low fat milk with the cane sugar, non-organic oats, and is there any natural flavor in here? Yes, the natural flavors right here, boom. So issue number one is the sugar. When I say issue number one, it reminds me of the Frank Sinatra group on Seinfeld art. <laughs> uh, issue number two is that it's low fat yogurt. I'm gonna make this very simple for you. When you're getting dairy, get organic, even better grass fed get full fat because low fat is actually worse for you. When you get full fat, it has more nutrients in there like omega-3 fatty acids. And when it's full fat, the fat combines with the protein and keeps you satiated longer. And ideally get ones that are grass fed, like I said, which there's some great options here. If we look down yonder, these are two of the best options and there's a new one here. So there we go, this one. So two great options here. Maple Hill Organic Whole Milk Grass-Fed Yogurt in Stony Field. Greek, 100% grass-fed yogurt. Greek could be a little better because when you strain the yogurt, you reduce the sugar, the natural sugar. See, this has five grams of natural sugar per three-quarter cup. And this one that's non-Greek style has eight grams per two-thirds. So it's a smaller serving, but more sugar. I'm okay with that because it's natural sugar, but if you're watching your sugar intake, Greek is strained. And what lives in the, the strained part, the lactose, the sugar. So you want to get that, but please, when I see people getting low fat and no fat, there's no point in doing that because you want the full fat. The fat combines with the protein, satiates your hunger, and you have to avoid the sugar. And if you don't get organic or grass fed, you're getting GMO milk, something I think you really want to avoid. If we ever eat rice at home, because we don't typically eat grains, we eat one rice in particular, it's wild rice, which is the most nutrient dense rice you can get. I'll show you in a second. But if you eat something like 
just regular white rice, either jasmine or basmati white rice. Desi and I once watched a documentary and the person referred to white rice like this as nutritive dead food. And because you think about it, it is. This is white rice. It used to be brown rice, meaning it used to have the fiber, the hull, the bran, all of the good things on there, but that's taken away. So all you really have with white rice is starch a food that's really gonna spike your blood, your blood sugars and doesn't have any nutrition really. So you can do better. Your next step up would be this right here. This is brown rice, which there's something really interesting about this because rice could be high in heavy metals, specifically arsenic. But if you get rice from the USA, even more specifically California, it's one of the lowest heavy metal rices. If it comes from outside of the country, you gotta be careful. And this farm actually does a great job. Lundeberg Farms, what does that make you uh, remind you of Art? Office space. Oh uh, yeah, Art, I'm gonna need you to come in tomorrow early. <laughs> so this is Lundeberg Farms, they do it great. And this has the, the haul on there, the, uh, the bran, the fiber. This is way more nutrient dense the thing is, I think you can do better than that. You can do this. And it's actually a little tough to follow. Oh, by the way, if you want to get some brown rice, uh, it's a little pricey. This is $6.49 for uh, two pounds. If you scan this barcode, you'll see Thrive Market has their own brand of USA uh, organic brown rice for way cheaper than this. I would get that for sure using my link down below. But this wild rice is actually not rice. What is it, Art? Uh, it's a weed. It's a weed, man. You put your weed in there. <laughs> It's an aquatic grass. And because of that, it has no uh, uh, heavy metals or arsenic, and it has the most fiber, the most protein, the most nutritive dense rice on the market. Actually, in our new cookbook coming out, actually Tuesday, what's crazy, which is a number one bestseller on Amazon, I have a five ingredient wild rice fried rice with chicken using only five ingredients and it's fantastic you do have to boil it for an hour but if you eat rice just try making a pilaf or a stir fry or a wild fried rice using this it's amazing now a way around that is to look up here this is actually rice made of chickpeas this is bonza legume rice i just wish it were organic because earlier we talked about uh, legumes being organic so not a deal breaker, but if this was organic, it'd be perfect. And they took chickpeas, which are not uh, starchy rice. It's chickpeas, which are loaded with protein and fiber. So way more nutrient dense. And you can make this like any rice you want or risotto. Also in the cookbook, we have a risotto called risotto-ish made with a rice like this. But if you want something I call the home cook's best friend that's on standby whenever you need it, and it's brown rice, let me show you something in the freezer section. Here it is, check it out. This is such a cool product that even I have in my freezer for really quick and easy meals. This is organic brown rice that's pre-cooked and frozen. And the cool thing about getting it is that it's also a product of the USA. This is literally ready in five minutes. It says to do it in the microwave. We don't use a microwave in the home. I don't believe that's safe for you. Throw this into a skillet with a shot of water or bone broth. I've made fried rice out of this. It's just a home cook's best friend because what normally takes about 45 minutes to make is already done for you and it's super, super easy. Always have this or they don't make wild rice, but if you want to make a big batch of wild rice and then keep it in the freezer, that would be another way to have a nutrient dense rice on hand that normally takes a long time. Now we're in the frozen food aisle, which has really seen the game go up and up in the recent years. Let's find some nutrient dense frozen foods that are really, really healthy and pre-made. So if we come down here, this is one of the newest players on the market, but Primal Kitchen, which we call the GOAT, right? The greatest of all time. Everything they make pretty, pretty much is Bobby approved has these. These are frozen skillet meals. And my favorite by far, and I just had it last week for a quick uh, dinner, this organic chicken fried riced cauliflower is fantastic. Look at this, it's paleo. It's got none of the nasty ingredients and it's made with organic cage-free eggs. But have you ever seen a frozen meal with these ingredients? Organic chicken, no soy, uh, sweetened with uh, aminos. This is absolutely fantastic. It's not super low carb because it has the uh, peas in there, but this is really, really cool. And it's on Thrive Market too. It's a little pricey, it's $13, but it's fantastic. And then if we go around here, there's a couple cool items right here. Um, if you want a frozen chicken sausage, look at these Applegate Organics right here. It's very important to get organic chicken uh, or organic pork. They don't have any organic pork that I see, but they do have 
this right here. Organic chicken and maple sausage. Chicken really has to be organic, otherwise it has a strict GMO feed. But look at this. Ingredients here. Oh no, I don't like this one. This one has cane sugar. No, this one I don't like, hold on. I know, there's one I've seen in the past that's good, hold on. There we go, this is the one. This is why we read ingredients, right? Look at this, organic chicken, organic apples, which are on the dirty dozen, organic honey, not nasty cane sugar, and that's it. And even the sweetener, it's only three grams per three links. That's nothing. So this is super cool to have in the freezer for a healthy, nutrient-dense, non-GMO chicken apple sausage. Okay, a fantastic product, but a little expensive is this. Capello's makes grain-free pizza, pizza crust, and pasta. The pasta is made of almond flour. It's pricey, but it's amazing. It actually has the texture and flavor of freshly made pasta. But look at the ingredients here. Instead of wheat, almond flour, cage-free eggs, it'd be nice if those were non-GMO, a little bit of tapioca flour, and xanthan gum. An eight ounce serving, to be honest, is not quite enough for two, so it is pricey, but I've had their sweet potato gnocchi, I've had their fettuccine. It's really, really good stuff, but actually, I like their uh, pizza crust even better. I always have a pizza crust in the freezer, and we make homemade paleo pizzas, and they're fantastic. Well, I think it's good enough for the frozen section, so there are some really good options here, and it's way better than when like Art and I were growing up when they didn't have any of this. Wow, I've never seen a bigger wall of protein bars and snack bars. And actually, that's a very common question I get, which ones are the best? And I've only recently started to look into them and you really have to be careful because something will look like it's healthy, but it's not. So I can probably pick anything off the wall here if I just grab, what's a very popular, here, Quest bars. So Quest is very popular because it's low carb. And this is a birthday cake one. I get very nervous when I see birthday cake. Now this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see 21 grams of protein, you're gonna see less than one grams of sugar and only four grams of net carbs. But, check this out. So how do they do that? Well, they do it with uh, GMO milk protein isolate, but there's palm oil in there and there is a bunch of natural flavors, not nutrient dense, okay? When you're looking for nutrient dense, you also gotta make sure it's clean. Palm oil is devastating to the environment and is just as processed as canola oil. So I put that one back. I know a lot of people think even something like this. A uh, Flav City fan uh, was asking me about this recently. It was uh, uh, Maddie actually. Maddie was asking me about this. So this is Go Macro Bars. But when you see the first ingredient is sugar in the form of brown rice syrup, and when you see they also add natural flavors here, this should be one of the last ingredients, the sweetener here. So I would put those back. It's very, very confusing, right? But I have found probably one of the best nutrient-dense, low-sugar, and lowish carb protein bars is this. Bulletproof is such a sleeper. Everything Bulletproof makes is really cool. So this is their collagen protein bar here. And what I love about it is the fact that it only has two grams of sugar. The protein is not super high, but if we look at the ingredients, do you see nasty palm oil? No, you see coconut oil. What else do you see in here? You see a, the nice um, MCT for the brain boosting abilities here. You see cashews. What kind of sweetener do you see here? Just stevia leaf extract. That's macros you wanna see. I'd love to see the protein a little higher, but when you have low carb and no added sugar with two total, wow, wow, wee wow. Very cool. You can scoop these on Thrive Market too. It's definitely cheaper. If you want a snack bar, my friends over at Epic make the most delicious non-GMO, pasture raised or transition transitioning to pasture raised chicken bars we all know that we all know the beef bars but art and i just saw this and it's the day after thanksgiving they have non-gmo turkey bars with almond and cranberries and these guys never add cruddy ingredients look at this how do they sweeten the cranberries with apple juice not cane sugar really really nice stuff and a sleeper is this one the breakfast bars chicken egg yolk and apple Unbelievable, 13 grams of protein in the morning. That egg yolk makes it so fatty and delicious. There's no natural flavors and they're actually transitioning all of the uh, pigs and all the chicken over to pasture raised. Epic does it right, not necessarily a protein bar, but between that 
And between the collagen uh, bulletproof bars, you have it made in the shade, but man oh man, they don't make it easy because a lot of these products have one or two suspect ingredients. But now that we know how to read labels, you can weed them out. How's it going, JR? All right, Flavor City family, that is it. Arthur, do you have anything to add to this video? Not that I can think of. Okay, you let us know if they change your mind. Uh, so that's it. That is the most nutrient-dense products at the grocery store. I mean, there are more. You probably know them from watching more videos, but we can talk about that in the future. Please let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the near future. Leave a comment down below. Spread the Flav City love. The only way this channel keeps growing and the only way you, uh, we help you put the best quality stuff in your body and your family's body is by you spreading that love. Uh, two more videos are below us right now. Uh, but for Arthur, for Desi, for Rose and myself, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later. Later. <laughs>